graph this. He had too many f of x's in the problem. It should just read f of x equals that. Um, so we're going to do this by um, taking a normal graph. So if we just took a look at the graph of y equals 3 to the x, there's a few key points that all these basic graphs have. They have um, an asymptote at a y equals 0, and they all go through the point um, uh, 0, 1, and then if you want one more point, it'll go through 1, 3 in this case, whatever that base is. So if I plot kind of the parent graph, I have an asymptote at y equals 0, so that's that. They'll all go through the point 0, 1, and then this one will go through the point 1, 3. So if I graph that, that's my parent function. And then what I want to do is shift this thing. So the negative is actually going to flip it over the uh, y-axis. So it's going to take this and flip it over. So I'll take this point and it'll come down here. And I'll take this point and it's two away from the axis, so it'll go two away from the axis. And the whole thing flips this way. So this, what I've just graphed, is y equals negative 3 to the x. And there's one last transformation I have to do, this plus 2, and that's going to make everything go up 2. So I'll take this asymptote that was at 0, and it's going to hike up to 2. And I'll take this point and hike it up 2 so that it ends up there. And this point one, two, it ends up there. So now, connecting those dots, that red graph is the final graph of y equals negative 3 to the x plus 2. You took the normal graph, flipped it over, shifted it up to.